This morning, police are searching for a Texas mother who mysteriously disappeared before Harvey hit. Crystal McDowell's last Facebook post was, stay safe out there. She wrote it the day before Harvey made landfall. Michelle Miller is in Anuak, Texas, where she spoke with Crystal's family. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Crystal McDowell's family says she was scheduled to pick up her two children from her ex-husband's home, but never showed. That was the day before Hurricane Harvey flooded streets in her neighborhood. And with law enforcement trying desperately to keep people out of harm's way, this storm may have provided the ideal climate to cover a crime. See this black car right here? This Mercedes? Crystal McDowell's car was found submerged in this Motel 6 parking lot, roughly 13 miles from her home. The cops were here busting in doors to find out where this lady is. Police say it was likely parked here before the water rose. How confident are you that she was not a victim of this storm? I'm very confident. She is not a victim of this storm. We, we've, we feel very, very confident that she's not a victim of this storm. These are the last known images of Crystal, taken from security cameras in her boyfriend's home and a day before the hurricane. She was leaving for two appointments as a real estate agent. Her office could not confirm whether or not she made either one. And our main objective is just to get Crystal back home. <laughs> Crystal's uncle, Jeff Walters, works in the same real estate office. What do you think happened to her? I don't know, but I know that she's not one to leave, and she's, she would always be in contact with us and her children. Chambers County Sheriff Brian Hawthorne says the investigation began before the storm, but Harvey's aftermath has made their efforts more challenging. We are hampered by some of the flood issues, but... We are as aggressive as ever trying to locate and find uh, Crystal McDowell. The 38-year-old mother of two was divorced in June, but still shared a home with her ex-husband, Stephen McDowell. Our calls to McDowell went unanswered, but he told Crystal's relatives she intended to pick up the kids and ride out the storm in Dallas. I think she was concerned for her well-being. Paul Hargrave says he and Crystal started dating in June after her divorce and suggests the relationship with her ex-husband was not an amicable one. I think she was wanting to get out of that situation as, as quickly as possible and move forward. I think that um, there was probably some animosity between boyfriends and husbands, and the husband probably might think the boyfriend had something to do with it, the boyfriend might think the husband had something to do with it, which is exactly what we're faced with right now. Now Sheriff Hawthorne knows that this family wants answers and they want them fast. But he says resources here are simply stretched thin. In fact, two of the investigators on this case have been flooded out of their homes. Michelle, that sounds very sinister. Sounds like a story for 48 hours. The bottom line is children are missing their mother. That's a very sad story. Thank you, Michelle, very much.